Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for June 19. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, June 19, 1885, the Statue of Liberty arrived in New York Harbor. The monument was a gift from the people of France to the people of the United States. The statue is constructed of copper sheets which are assembled on a framework of steel supports. For transit to America, the statue was taken apart into 350 pieces and packed in crates. It was reassembled when it arrived here. Also, on this day in 1941, Cheerios whole grain oat cereal was invented to provide a more convenient and better tasting change from cooked oatmeal. And on this day in 1964, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was approved by the United States Senate. The act was signed into law by Lyndon Johnson on July 2, 1964, after it was approved by the House of Representatives. The act prohibited discrimination in public places, provided for the integration of schools and other public facilities, and made employment discrimination illegal. Word power! Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word hopscotch. We all know that hopscotch is a game that kids play by hopping in boxes drawn on the ground. But do you know where the word hopscotch comes from? Well, to hop is to jump on one foot, and scotch means scratch. Wait a minute, what does scratching have to do with a playground game? Well, when kids play hopscotch, they first have to draw or scratch the boxes for the hopscotch game on the ground. Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the heaviest flying bird on the planet? The answer is the mute swan. These majestic birds can weigh up to 40 pounds or 18 kilograms. They can have wingspans of up to eight feet or two and a half meters and can grow to be over five feet or 158 centimeters long. Mute swans are very beautiful and are naturally found in Europe and Asia, although humans have brought them to other countries all over the world. Health tips. The number one water safety tip is this. Learn to swim. Ask your parents to contact your local Red Cross, YMCA, or community center for information on swim lessons. Swimming is not only lots of fun, it's also great exercise, and knowing how to swim will keep you safe. I dive in Did you know that saving paper doesn't just save trees, it saves electricity too. That's because it takes a lot of energy to cut down the trees, make them into paper, package the paper up, and send it to the store where you buy it. A great way to save paper is to make sure that you use both sides of it. Make a pile of paper that has a blank side and use that for scrap paper. You can even make a scrap paper notebook by stapling together a pile of scrap paper. That's an easy way to be an Earth Alert hero. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>